Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I uh, what I like to explain when you're doing problems like this, basically, especially when you're simplifying, the main important thing is I really want you guys to look at this and see what we're dealing with. And this will help you when you're working on problems and you need to decide what operations to apply. If you guys look at this, you guys can see that each and every one of these terms is either separated by multiplication or division, correct? So since they're separated by multiplication or division, we can simplify by using the rules of exponents. Now, what I like to do is just kind of break this apart um, with my numbers. So I could have 54 divided by 9. Then I can do x to the seventh div, um, over x to the fifth times y to the negative second divided by y cubed. Now, if you guys remember, as you guys remember, what we basically do is you can simplify 54 over 9. You can simplify x to the seventh over x to the fifth. And you can simplify y to the negative second divided by y to the cubed using our rules of exponents. Well, 9 divides into 54 six times, actually. So we can actually just simplify this to 6 over 1, really. x to the seventh, you guys remember by using the rules of exponents, you subtract the power. So that's 7 minus 5. And here, it's going to be y to the negative second minus 3. So I have 6 over 1 times x squared, that's really over 1, times, if you only $2, you borrow 3 more, that's y to the negative fifth. 4? Huh? That's a 7. Nope. If you owe me $2 and you borrow three more dollars. You will. I'm not done yet. Yeah, I'm not done yet. So we also need to make sure now at the end, we need to make sure to write our final expression, though. We remember that um, we cannot write this with negative exponents. So therefore, I'm going to write this over 1 or over in the denominator. So my final answer would be 6x squared over y to the positive fifth. You could. So if you wanted to rewrite the negative two. Right. You can do that as well. Um, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you guys have an issue? Because whatever you're doing is not what you're supposed to be doing right now. You can easily bring the negative 2 down and then add the 2 and the 3, which would give you positive y to the fifth and bottom. But you're, you're still going to be multiplying, OK? Because we cannot write our ex 